I'm from Queens, New York. Originally, I live in New Paltz now. From Lower East Side, LES. In the fuck is St. Mark's? My name's Joss. I'm from Tribeca. Uh, my name's Kaya. I'm from Manhattan, um, Chelsea. My name's Alex. I'm also from Manhattan, Upper West Side specifically. It's all about the attitude. Well, I mean, being from the city, it's really like all about who you know, like where you're going. Oh, it's constantly changing. It's amazing. If you don't live there, then I feel sorry for you. New York City is just the capital of the whole world, basically. I never thought about looking different because this is how we do it in the Lower East Side. LAF, I didn't, there's no need reason to think. Cause you gotta be like this. You gotta look like this. You think I know what this? You think I like this shit? No. But you gotta do that to stand out. It was so different than now. I was. I was a punk. I didn't give a shit or a fuck about anything because I just. Anarchy was my main motive. And now it's like. I'm more free. I was so rigid back then. Like, if I could go to Forest Fest every day, I would, but it's only one day. And I just, if I could spend every day on the quad throwing the frisb and just hula hooping, I would, but I can't, because. I mean, I can, I do, actually. <laughs> do you think that being in New Paltz has changed who you are? Oh yeah, definitely. Like I said, I'm just so much more free. I used to look so different. Like, I used to wear these tight pants that were so constraining on me, they would just grab me and I couldn't do it. And now I just, I don't wear pants because they're overrated in a way. And I'm just so much more free. Like, everything is so much more free. And you see the colors? I feel the colors too. It's when I walk at, well, at home, when I walk down the streets, nothing. People are used to that shit. When I walk here, though, it's like I'm a fucking freak show. Some people fucking, fucking freak out. They're the fucking freaks, man. Living in the city, everyone's really cosmopolitan. Money really matters here. I mean, what you wear, it's its everything. You have to dress to impress. I mean, hello. I have to get to work, and I don't have time to stop by, stop and say hi to people, smile at people. I just have to get there, and there's always people in the way, and I have to just kind of shove, push and shove. But in New Paltz, you know, everyone's kind of just relaxed and like, um, just kind of hanging around, really friendly, um, I guess. I'm kind of more friendly in here too. So this is what you looked like in high school? Yeah, basically. What was the high school like where you went? LaGuardia High School. I remember like it was yesterday. I mean, I wasn't very popular. This is how I dressed. People judged me. But at the same time, I stood out. And it was different. Was it worth it to stand out? Oh, definitely. Alright, well basically, not to be cliche, but time is money when you're in the city. I'm not trying to brush you off, I'm not trying to be mean. It's not that I have an attitude, it's not that I don't care, it's just I have shit to do and gotta do me. Well, in the city you have to stand out or else you're nobody. Yeah, like when you go out in the city, like you have to dress in pep and press, like New York City is the fashion capital of the world, and you never know who's gonna see it. Yeah, obviously we're not hanging out with a bunch of hippies all day. Who we are as an individual is completely determined by the context of your environment. Would you say that who you are depends on where you are? Yeah, definitely. I think that um, who I am is defined by the context of my environment. Who I am is defined by the context of my environment. I mean, everyone in the city is just so eccentric. Like, everyone is an individual to themselves, but they're really not. <laughs>